Number so the mm -hmm. most important is to put the price, the right to start with the right price, as mm -hmm. I said. Yes. Uh, second, to put a closing date. You have to. The buyer has to put a closing date in order to make the deal. Uh, the sellers want a specific closing date, mm -hmm. the buyer wants a specific closing date, so probably you'll go somewhere in the middle yeah. to do the deal. Then um, uh, deposit is very important because if you are, let's, even if you are negotiating, let's say, the price, mm -hmm. the closing date, but um, if it's not, uh, it's not a deposit in place in a 24 hours, the deal becomes null, null and void. Well, Marius, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. How long have you been a real estate agent? Since 2005. Listen, congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much, Scott. You're the best at what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, they have to see if there are no special assessments. Mm. There are no big uh, repairs, repairs on the uh, on the premises. Let's say they have to change the uh, roof of the building or the um, you know the the balconies mm. or, or the underground parking. So these are the most uh, common ones. Uh, and they, yeah, or the windows, they, and you can be hit um, with yeah. a big number. So let's say if um, if they have special assessments of three, four, five millions, the, that that amount has to be divided by the number of units on that building. So uh, basically, the buyer that they, they don't have a professional, um, um, you know, uh, real estate agent, yes. they can end up paying uh, thousands of thousands of dollars because, the, you know, they do some renos yes. and, um, you and maybe know. they remove a wall and you don't even know, <laughs> you, know exactly. what I mean? you, so, you don't even know what the initial yeah, apartment so, looked like. So, so depending on all, all mm. types of properties, um, they have to put a specific mm. conditions. Uh, but the most important, as I said, they are a mortgage approval first mm. and the home inspection for freeholds and the yes. sort of certificate for condos. Um, second, oh, okay, so. Marius, it's absolutely amazing because people think like, oh, the real estate just, they're brokers. They sell and buy, sell and buy, but look at so much information. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so complex, it's this buying complex. process it's that uh, you cannot imagine. Yes, like, uh, yes, now I can imagine, honestly, yeah. because you listed so many like things we need to know. And honestly, I cannot see myself. So if people, I don't know if people are selling by themselves anymore, but at one point you, you would see people like selling their houses by themselves. Yes. But look at the, 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 the danger the, 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 and yes. uh, what can happen. So many things can happen like any given time during the, the process. Exactly. So it's crazy. So now we're talking about this, um, mm -hmm. this offer. So the mm -hmm. most important is to put the price, the right, to start with the right price, as mm -hmm. I said. Yes. Um, second, to put a closing date. You have to, the buyer has to put a closing date in order to make the deal. Uh, the seller wants a specific closing date, mm -hmm. the buyer wants a specific closing date. So probably you'll go somewhere in the middle yeah. to do the deal. Then um, uh, deposit is very important because if you are, let's, even if you are negotiating, let's say the price, mm -hmm. the closing date, but um, if it's not, uh, it's not a deposit in place in a 24 hours, the deal becomes null, null and void. Yeah. So usually the, the deposit is about 5%. Uh, five percent. So, uh, in a normal transaction, mm. but you know, for some ta for some first-time buyers, they don't have five percent upfront. So probably will be a little bit less. But five percent is like showing the good faith that you have money and you are willing to buy that property. Yeah. So, for example, for eight hundred thousand um, uh, property, um, five percent. It's about forty thousand. Yeah. Uh, as a first-time buyer, probably the deposit will be maybe thirty or twenty-five because you know, or maybe even twenty. Some in some cases, depending on the situation. But usually, the first-time buyers they don't have this, um, you know, um, a huge amount. You know. Yeah, I know, and especially with the prices right now, they're like so high. It's it's pretty hard to it's come up hard, with yes. the the down payment, and uh, like you said, you need to be. You have to take in consideration all the expenses actually you have monthly. Yes. Like you said, the cars, the whatever expenses there are. In and the um, yeah, so basically if you put the, if you, you put the right price, if you start with the right price, we yeah. put a closing date, we, we put a deposit, then yeah. it's a back and forth negotiation mm -hmm. and um, could, be, could be in a couple of hours done, mm -hmm. could be in a couple of days, yeah. depending on, you know, you know how interested the seller is willing yeah. to sell that one if it's not under pressure mm. or the buyer is under pressure so basically the market value is based on you know how much the buyer is willing to pay in a fair market mm. not under pressure but yeah. it's um it's true even for the in the seller side so yeah. depends okay question what happens if we change our minds and we pay the deposits 
can we change our minds? What happens if we um, want to change our yeah, minds? Yeah, good what question. The, good question. So the for options here. <laughs> so, for example, there, here there are two scenarios. So, mm -hmm. let's say you put the offer, you negotiate, you give the five percent deposit. Yeah. And then, if it's a firm deal, so mm -hmm. you don't have any conditions. Okay. So basically, the buyer has to close the deal uh, in order not to be sued by the by the, the seller and also um, not to lose the deposit okay. because um, if it's a firm deal with no conditions and you you know you put the price you put the date you put the deposit everything um, then you have to fulfill your obligation okay. to close the deal mm. um, so this is um, a situ if let's say the buyer insists then you know um, you know, I don't want to close the deal anymore. So they have to understand that they can be sued by the seller. Okay. Uh, they can lose the, the, the deposit, but not automatically. So the seller has to go in court, in a small court, depending if it's less than 25,000, they go in a small court. If it's more than 25,000, they'd have in a regular court, oh, okay. which will take probably, I don't know, a certain time, six months, one mm -hmm. year, one year and a half, oh, depending wow. all the, on the jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's a painful process, it but is. let's say, um, they put a deposit, they, uh, we negotiate a deal, uh, the deal was done, but it's still conditional mm -hmm. under, let's say, under, in, under the mortgage condition or home inspection condition yeah. or status, doesn't matter. Uh, in this case, um, you know, um, if, if they, they fulfill the condition, okay. normally by the code of ethics they have to fulfill. Okay, but yeah. some people, they play games, they, they, uh -huh. they, they, they don't weigh the condition saying that, you know what, I, I didn't get the... Uh, I didn't get the mortgage, but mm. if the sellers is uh, is uh, feeling that like uh, is something is not right, mm. they can go and then they can go after the buyer and then um, and then um, you know. But it's very rare. It's very it's rare because nobody happening. wants uh, no. uh, you know headache. And usually yeah. the sellers are willing to sell to another one to another buyer, not mm. having any complications in yeah. going court. So the reason I'm asking is is often when we sell our house and then we want to buy another house and if our house is not we cannot sell our house we cannot buy the other house this is why but we are talking about the first time buyers right now yeah the but first I'm time just, buyers but the, oh so if, why, if this is the case yeah. it's a it's a very dangerous situation yeah. because you see if let's say you buy someone house uh, and that one that 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 gentleman that that family mm. uh, wants to buy another house so yes. the 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 new home purchase is based on their sold pride uh, yes. sold property and yeah. if you're not fulfilling mm. your obligation to close your deal mm. then it's like a link and whoever yeah. broke the break that link uh, in the end they will pay so let's yeah. say there are like 10 or 5 um, you know transactions uh, linked to that yeah. that uh, property if let's say you are not if you didn't sell your property and you cannot close what you are buying then probably you are affecting five or six uh, oh, uh, wow. uh, owner, like uh, owners in uh, in a long oh, run. So God. they can sue uh, sue the previous one. So let's say mm. there are six transactions. The sixth one sue the fifth one. The fifth one sue the fourth one. The fourth one sue the third one. Uh, and then you, you're coming to you. So you are so you are one the, the, the who yeah. broke the link. So basically, what what is very dangerous is all these expenses. Like mm. all these expenses, they are coming after you. Yeah. So let's say there are a couple of millions of dollars that mm. they lost. Yeah. So then they will sue you. So you are the one that you will pay for all responsible Ooh. for all. So it's not a good idea. Even if you yeah. sell your property fifty thousand less than you think that it was it's, worth it, it's still better. Even yeah. one hundred thousand. Yeah. Sell it. Yeah. Don't have any headaches. Move on. Yeah. The life goes on. I'm thinking maybe we can uh, another time to have uh, like a, a dedicated uh, episode for this with examples and yeah, how we yeah, can it, because it this be, is so important. Yeah, it's very important. And and people they don't they don't pay attention. They don't pay attention, and, and then, uh, in the end, you pay more than you you, you think you pay. Actually, it's, yeah. it's what's what's it's the end of the day, really. You're yeah. Paying. So it's very dangerous it and um, ha could have. Uh, um, you know, very dangerous implications. You mm. can lose everything, basically. Oh. Whatever you built in, you, in your life, yes. you can e lose everything. Yeah. And you'll be broke. Oh. So better to fulfill that obligation. Yes. Sell it for, yeah. doesn't matter for how much, but yeah. sell it because you are, yeah. you know. And it's then, less wor it's it's worse than the understanding the, the, Yes, <laughs> exactly. Well, Marius, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. How long have you been a real estate agent? Since 2005. 
Yes, so almost 18 years. 18 years. Listen, you work so hard. You're top 100 agent worldwide, which is fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you so that. much, Scott. And you don't just help people sell or buy homes. You do the whole pack. How, so, how do you know what to do to a house in order to increase its value? Um, I learn from you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, and, so you're a pro then. Should, yeah. <laughs> so I try to, you know, explain people that if they, you know, improve their, you know, like with a new countertop, a new flooring, a new bathroom, a new kitchen, they will, you know, like for each dollar, they will get maybe one, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars more. Yes. So this is very important. It's the return and, on investment. Exactly. You want to take care of your yeah. clients. You're not just here to help them buy or sell a yeah. home. You help them move. You give them renovation tips. Everything. It's one of the reasons why you and your family are so successful in this business. Yes. They basically they give me the, the keys of the house and they live in Caribbean for two weeks and when they come back the house is sold for the, the most money. So, you should have your own yeah. show. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so busy doing that, but I, I love it. But you know, it's um, it's a. It's, it's a pleasure to do the best thing for my clients. So. Well, look, you've seen a lot. You've got a lot of experience, especially in the Markham area. Where do you see the future of real estate in Markham? Because of the uh, huge immigration in, in Canada, I think it's a good investment to, uh, for investors to invest in real estate. Yes. And especially in Markham because, um, you know, it's uh, close to Toronto. Uh, close to 404, so the, you know the it's a you know very very close to Toronto, and uh, um, the the value in long term will go up for sure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So it's a great investment. Listen, congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much, Scott. You're the best at what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much.